For today's episode, Josh told me we were visiting a guy called Jack who's trapped in a box. But it turns out it's just more fast food. How much more can our digestive systems take? We're about to find out. Oh, and thank you to Boxu for sponsoring this episode. More on them later. Ducky, we go way back. We filmed the Ollie Alone in Korea series. You were my cameraman slash chaperone. <laughs> when I think of you, I think maybe you're like a vampire who's been alive for like a hundred years. Because every time we meet someone, they're like, yeah, I know Ducky. Every shop we go in, you're like, oh, I used to work here. Every musician we meet, it's like, oh, hey, Ducky. I haven't seen you since we last went on holiday. Yeah, I think I might know the queen. Who knows? <laughs> wow, okay. We're currently at Coachella. The food in there is pricey, so we've come out for some cheap alternatives. Genuinely, I'm still trying to get over how many different chains of fast food there are in the States. One of which is called Jack in the Box? Yeah. Which sounds a bit creepy, to be honest. Like when I'm opening a fast food box, that's not the image I want to have in mind. <laughs> well, which one's scarier? A Ronald McDonald, a Jack in the Box, or a King of Burgers? Ronald McDonald is terrifying. There's a reason that they're not banding him around so much anymore. But he is very successful, so maybe that was these guys' idea. Pick a terrifying mascot. A terrifying mascot <laughs> to succeed on that level. Yes, Josh. Jack in the box. Yes. Obviously, we've tried Taco Bell already. Couple of bell heads. We, oh, gosh. Uh, would you say this is moving up the fast food ranks? For specifically tacos, I think you're moving down the rank. But it's like in a good way. It's like they're so bad that it's good. Oh, OK. <laughs> As in it tastes okay. bad. It's good for its price. You get two tacos for $1. Wait, what? Yes. Wow. So, the tacos here cost literally less than a dollar. I used to eat like maybe 10 of them. What? Okay, because city. they're two for a dollar. Yeah. But you used to be a competitive eater. Yes. In one of your, uh, Wait. Uh, one of your earlier lives. Yes. I'm telling you, man. No, you did lived a thousand lives. You used lives. to be a competitive eater. I've tried to compete in competitive yeah. eating and- Are you serious? It was quite difficult. Did you specialize in any specific food? I've done hot dogs, spaghetti, dumplings, ramen. Not tacos though. I don't think tacos- What's the most thing. hot dogs you ever did? Oh, it wasn't even that high. It was like 20. Oh, hot. 20 <laughs> hot dogs in one sitting. It yeah. wasn't even that high. That is a lot of oh hot dogs. <laughs> Say that to the wow. poor pigs who were <laughs> slaughtered. <laughs> but I don't think you understand. There's like Matt Stoney that yeah. eats like 50 to 60. I don't think you understand. <laughs> That's not normal. <laughs> Oh, they do churros. Yeah. Loaded breakfast sandwich. Wait, what's a sourdough jack? It's sourdough bread. What? Basically, it's not really a burger, but it's, yeah, it's basically sourdough. Like, Wait, they have the ultimate burger. cheeseburger and the bacon ultimate cheeseburger. My mind is being grown. Josh is so excited. It's brand new fast food <laughs> that I've never tried. This is epic. I've also, through this process of being here at Coachella, realized that Holly, we're now old. It's official. No, we're not. You're we're only old. as old as when you feel. When we were walking in to that gig old. and I saw the strings coming out of your earplugs and I started wishing I had my own earplugs to muffle the sound no. of Billie Eilish. They also put earmuffs on babies because babies have very <laughs> sensitive ears. <laughs> I realized in that moment, oh shoot. We're super old. I know you are, but what am I? See, do old people say that? I don't think so. Uh. <laughs> oh, <this is> funny. <laughs> Thank you so much. <sighs> when you ask for a large in America, it's literally enormous. So where are we starting, Ducky? The tacos. Don't judge. Don't, don't judge. Do the appearance. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what do you mean? Why are you just you giggling? How bad can it be? Wow. Oh my gosh, look at the inside. Not like that is shocking. It doesn't look that bad. I mean, for 50p. 50p? This is good. I mean, you literally can't even get like a full chocolate bar in no. England for 50p anymore. Cheers, guys. To Jack and his box. Oh gosh. <laughs> If you know I was a student, I would, I would absolutely destroy that. Absolutely destroy that. Every night. That's what I'm saying. They wow. did the bad so well. This is not that different from Taco Bell. For 50p, you know, not everyone can afford to be a bellhead. Mmm. Oh, the ranch is actually good, though. Dip that in ranch. That's actually good. Like, seriously, what the heck? Mmm. Mmm. That is good. That, that is concerningly good. That is. 
And now from Jack in the Box to Snack in the Boxu. Boxu is a monthly subscription service that delivers premium Japanese snacks and tea pairings right to your door. Each Boxu features a new theme, providing a gourmet journey through Japan every month. You're probably wondering, what's in a boksu? Well, the first box you receive is called Seasons of Japan. It's curated by boksu's snack experts, and it's designed to give you a taste of the four seasons of Japan, and also what it's like to receive boksu throughout the year. Following Seasons of Japan, you'll receive a new monthly theme box like this one. This month's theme is Tanjubi, which means birthday. To celebrate turning six, boksu have put together an epic collection of their members' top-rated snacks and their employee favorites. Each boksu comes with a cultural booklet, which contains information about this month's theme, the snacks, where they come from, and even Japanese words for you to learn. Boksu partners with family businesses in Japan to create signature treats that you can't find anywhere else. <laughs> That's really good. These are all so good. I mean, I know this is an advert, but seriously, these are good. All right, if you want to try some of these awesome Japanese snacks and support the channel, click the link on the description. Use the code Jolly to get $15 off your first Boksu order. What's next, Ducky? The loaded of breakfast. Oh Ooh, my goodness. Wow. It's just like circular bread. Oh. It's Jack. Wow, Jack has outdone himself. There's two fried eggs in there, sausage. We've got yeah. bacon and ham and American cheese. Yeah. It looks great, man. This tastes so bad for you. Yeah, it genuinely. So, it, so, it's like so bad for you. Imagine donating blood after this. Oh. It just comes out slow. <laughs> no. Okay, so next up, these look good. Jack in the Box was like first known for curly fries. And okay. I loved coming here, like as a mm -hmm. kid, just eating mm -hmm. curly fries. Like never wanted McDonald's fries or any other brand, just curly fries. Those are good though. <laughs> they are really good. They're really good. Do you want to do the olives on the burger? It looks, it's very neat. It's Jack's favorite. Oh, it's Jack's favorite. Yeah. Is, that, is that important yeah. to know? I have to know. This okay. is Jack's really? favorite. Okay. okay. It looks like there's two types of cheese. Yeah. Yes. In the middle there. This is kind of, it's almost gourmet. Let's do it. <laughs> Thoughts? Thoughts? Go on then, go on. I'll have a bit. Have a bit. Oh, this is heavy. Mm. This is heavy. Does Jack know what he's talking about? Does Jack know? Jack. Jack. He's only gone and bloody done it. Oh, that is oh, good. Jack. I like that. I really like that. I mean, wow. it tastes hella bad for you. Massive guilty pleasure. The meat there is a lot less dry mm. than a McDonald's. You know what I mean? Mm. Like McDonald's mm. burgers, it just doesn't taste that real meat. It tastes uh, just something so processed about it. Whereas that. The meat is juicy. Yeah. I'm, I'm enjoying this, by this the way. This is fun. Yeah. This is the sourdough. Oh, the sourdough, sourdough jack. jack. Wow. Fresh tomato. There's cheese there on either side of the bun. Oh, give it a go. Sourdough Jack. Wow. Oh, yeah. You are making that look good. Yeah. I want that fresh tomato. Look at that. That's good. It tastes lighter than the other one. Well, as a side for that, some tiny tacos. Whoa, the smell coming out of that. Yeah, smell it, smell it. Oh, that smells like heaven. <laughs> oh. Wow, okay. Good. It tastes Go lush. Gosh. Wow, yeah, I'm, I'm beginning, oh, literally. Gosh. I'm already feeling, beginning to feel a little bit Oh, man. Jack, stay in your bloody box, mate. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> What the heck? Okay. Can I just say that's the difference between you guys and me? You guys take bites, I just eat the whole thing. You hate it all in one? My one. That's yeah, okay. the mentality that's of, a lot of, <laughs> of a competitive eater. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, what do you guys think? I think I was very pleasantly surprised that they had this on the menu. So I was like, wow, look, they're innovating. They're making something I've never even heard of before. I feel like there's a reason. I've never heard of this. Exactly. This is the kind of thing that they're, they're only still doing it because it's what they do. Not because it's good, not because it has any merit mm -hmm. at all. I don't like those. Next up, oh my gosh. Yes. We've got pre-packaged oh. New York style cheesecake and churros, yes. which smell incredible. Smell those. Look at this. Yeah. Oh man, they do smell incredible, huh? Mm. Mm. Oh, is there something in the middle? Mm -hmm. What's that? Chocolate filling. Looks like my churro just like pooped. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Oh. My juro had too many 50p tacos. No. Is this what's going to happen later when <laughs> someone gives me an extra firm hug? <laughs> <laughs> Right, final thing. New York final style thing. cheesecake. This is one of the most weirdest things on our fast food to have. Wow. Because cheesecake is normally for like yeah. dining. Freshly yeah. baked. Why does that taste so good? <laughs> that cheesecake has no right tasting good. For a fast food dessert, ironically, Jack has been thinking outside of the box because <laughs> that, that's good. And you're right, that it has no right to be good. Our camera just died. Yeah. It probably just was so repulsed yeah. by the amount of calories it's just yeah. witnessed. I, I think I'm ready for a food coma now. Mm -hmm. This is another level. I was really ready to hate all of it, but it's just, it's guilty pleasure fast food. You know, I genuinely feel a similar sense of trepidation about what's gonna happen over the next 12 hours to my digestive system, as I felt after some of our spicy challenges. Because that tastes, it tastes so good, but in a way that it feels like you're gonna pay a price. Yeah. Well, on that note, guys, <laughs> thanks very much for joining us in this journey through uh, Jack and his box and all of the goodies inside. Thanks, Ducky, for joining us. Indeed. You can add this to your very long CV. <laughs> you, you, you've been a good guide through the world of Jack and the Box. And uh, to the rest of you, we'll see you jolly soon. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.